good morning students today's topic of discussion is essentials of indicating instruments or operating forces acting on indicating instruments the indicating instruments are used to indicate the magnitude of the quantity being measured they generally make use of a dial and a pointer for this purpose the moving system of the indicating instruments consists of three torque or forces they are deflecting torque td controlling torque tc and damping torque deflecting torque is produced by utilizing any of these effects that is magnetic effect thermal effect electrostatic effect electromagnetic or induction effect and hall effect controlling torque in indicating instruments are obtained by two methods they are spring control and gravity control and damping torque in indicating instruments are obtained by air friction damping fluid friction damping and eddy current damping now we will discuss all the operating forces in detail first one is deflecting torque deflecting torque is required for moving the pointer from its zero position in order to move the pointer from the initial zero position deflecting torque is required the system producing deflecting torque is called a moving system so we can say that the deflecting system converts electric current or voltage into mechanical force that is movement of the pointer deflecting torque is produced by using magnetic effect thermal effect electrostatic effect hall effect etc first one is the magnetic effect the main principle behind the magnetic effect is that when a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field it experiences a force current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field it experiences a force there are three types force between permanent magnet and current carrying coil force between two current carrying coils force between current carrying coil and soft iron disc so we are considering only one example that is force between permanent magnet and a current carrying coil consider a current carrying coil when current passes through the coil it acts as electromagnet when a permanent magnet is brought near it there will be either a force of attraction or repulsion if the coil is mounted on the moving system of the indicating instrument there will be a movement of the coil thereby the moving system also moving in the direction of the coil movement therefore the pointer moves accordingly the movement of the pointer is proportional to the magnetude of the current flowing through the magnitude of current flowing through the coil so this effect is utilized in permanent magnet moving coil instruments which we will discuss in the upcoming classes second one is the thermal effect the current to be measured is passed through a small element known as heater the temperature rise is converted into an emf by thermocouple attached to the element a thermocouple consists of two dissimilar conductors joined at ends to form closed loop if the junctions of the two dissimilar metals are maintained at different temperature a current flowing through the closed loop this current can be measured with the help of meter the meter indicate the rms value of the current flowing through the heater element so next one is the electrostatic effect 
the instrument which uses static electric field for producing the deflecting torque is known as electrostatic instruments. They are usually voltmeters. Figure shows an example for electrostatic type instrument. One of the plate is positively charged and another one is negatively charged. If the positively charged plate becomes fixed and the negative plate becomes movable. When the voltage is applied to the plate, there is a force of attraction induces between them. Force of attraction induces between them. The movable plate tries to move towards fixed plate. Due to the movement of the plate, there is a proportional change in the pointer of the instrument. So the last one is the Hall effect. So Hall effect means the production of potential difference. Production of EMF across the electrical conductor. Across the electrical conductor when a magnetic field is applied in a direction perpendicular to the current flow. I repeat, the production of voltage difference across the current carrying conductor when a magnetic field is applied in the direction perpendicular to the current flow. The produced voltage is known as Hall voltage. The instruments that make use of this principle is known as Hall effect instruments. Thank you.